Hey guys, I'm gonna go a little bit more into depth of how food can become unsafe. There's four things that we really want to focus on. Um, number one being time temperature abuse. Number two, cross contamination. Number three, poor personal hygiene. And number four, poor cleaning and sanitizing. These can um, make, make food unsafe if we don't do these properly. So time temperature abuse. Um, is when food stays out too long at a temperature that's good for pathogen growth, okay? So like I mentioned in the previous video, that range that we want to stay out of is called the temperature danger zone, okay? 41 degrees to 135 degrees. We want to keep food out of that range, the temperature danger zone. So um, if we are holding food, cold food, we want to make sure that that food is 41 degrees or lower. If we're holding hot food, we want to hold that food at 135 degrees or higher, okay? So food that have been time temperature abused has not been held or stored correctly. Um, it is not cooked or reheated enough to kill pathogens. And in later chapters, we will learn about um, temperatures that we need to cook certain foods to. So like ground beef, we need to cook to 155 because the foodborne illnesses associated with ground beef get killed off at 155 degrees. Um, chicken needs to be cooked to 165 because foodborne illnesses associated with chicken get killed off at 165 degrees. Or the food is not cooled properly. So there's a process that we follow um, to get food down underneath or 41 degrees or lower in a certain amount of time. And if you don't follow those procedures, um, the food has to be thrown out. Cross-contamination is when pathogens are transferred from one surface or food to another. Okay, let me say that again. Cross-contamination is when pathogens are transferred from one surface or food to another. Okay, this is going to come up a lot, so you need to know cross-contamination like the back of your hand. So some ways that cr cross-contamination can cause a foodborne illness. Um, contaminated ingredients are added to a food that receives no further cooking, so maybe put, putting... Um, I don't know, contaminated, um, let's say lettuce, that have chicken juices into a salad. Um, ready to eat food touches contaminated surfaces. Contaminated food touches or drips fluids onto cooked or ready to eat food. So let's say you're storing something in the fridge, you have a salad on this level and maybe some ground beef on this level and maybe the blood from the ground beef drips onto the food underneath. That's cross contamination. Um, a food handler touches contaminated food and then touches ready to eat food. Ready to eat food means that there's no um, preparation um, that needs to be done, preparation or cooking that needs to be done before it's served. So maybe a chef is working with chicken, raw chicken, and then he goes to work on a salad with those same unwashed hands. Um, that would be cross contamination. Or contaminated wiping cloths touch contaminated surfaces. Moving on to poor personal hygiene, this can affect um, and cause foodborne illnesses um, if you don't wash your hands properly after using the restroom or changing task, um, coughing or sneezing on food, touching or scratching wounds and then touching food, or working while you're sick. Poor cleaning and sanitizing can spread pathogens from equipment um, to food if the equipment or utensil is not washed, rinsed, and sanitized between uses. So I gave that example of using tongs on chicken breast and then using the same tongs to mix up a Caesar salad. Okay, that would be considered cross-contamination. Um, and to fix this, to not spread that, you need to wash, rinse, and sanitize the, the equipment before switching to a new task. Um, food contact surfaces are wiped clean instead of being washed, rinsed, and sanitized so that you need to do wash, rinse, and sanitize if you're changing task. You can't just wipe it down and think that it's clean. Wiping cloths are not stored in sanitizer and solution between, between uses, okay? So it can't just be out in the air because there are pathogens in the air that can get onto that towel. And if you're going to be washing something with a dirty towel, what's the purpose? Um, sanitizing solutions are not at required temp or levels. So there is a little um, pH test strip that we put into the sanitizing liquid and it needs to be um, in a certain range to be considered safe. If it's too low, it's not gonna kill the pathogens. If it's too high, it might burn your hands. And there are two types of food that are the most likely to become unsafe. Um, number one are ready to eat foods, so they don't, they don't need any more cooking or preparation before it's served. And then TCS foods, and we will learn about TCS foods in the next video.